In this video, we're going to create responsive content like this. On previous videos, we created this uh, header menu, but in this one, we're going to create this middle portion, the testimonials. And this is how it's going to work. Going all the way to 360. The minimum size we're going to support is this 360. All right now, let's go build this from scratch. All right, so here we are. In the last video, we created this header menu, responsive mobile menu, and turned this page, home page, into index page. So this is now our front page of our application. So this is where we're going to add our content. So let's go back in there to the editor. And this is what it looks like because all the header elements are actually hidden. And we're going to keep them hidden because we don't need them at this point. So we will only focus on this block right here. Let's start with the header. Let's change this to simply testimonial. All right. Now let's see what is the layout of this container, which is column. So anything we add is going to add from top to bottom. So let's bring in our next content block. Let's bring in a group here. And this group, we're going to add content side by side. So we're going to have our layout set to row. And before all that, let's just rename this. Let's just say customer main. And let's remove this style and give this a flat color background and choose a light reddish color so that it is identifiable easily. Now let's go back and give it a top margin of let's say 50 and get rid of this fixed width so it expands from end to end and the minimum width should be set to zero and for now let's make height larger for 50 so that we get to see everything all the other children component we're going to be adding here later on we can change it to zero so that it will fit to the content content site all right so now that we have this our customer main so let's have a quick look at the design so these are going to be our card components right and here we can see we're adding content top to bottom and in here from side by side. So it looks like in our original block, we're going to need a column layout. And next, we're going to bring in another one. We're going to have to have it set to row, row layout. So let's get started on that. Now let's go bring a card component. It's another group. And we're going to have it set to column. And we're going to change the, remove the default styling, give it a flat color background. And let's pick something from here. A little bit lighter maybe. Yes, that's perfect. So this is going to be our card component. So let's rename it. All right. Now let's uh, go to layout, remove the fixed width, remove the minimum width down to zero, and let's make it a little bit larger right now, the height, so that we can work with the children components. And this one, let's uh, create some padding. Let's give it a 10 pixel padding everywhere. 
Actually, let's do 20 everywhere and give it a 10 pixel margin on each side. So that it never touches the borders. Okay, so now we have our the base of our card element. Now let's bring in some text. And let's call this comment. And let's bring in some lorem ipsum text from here. Drop it right there. And now let's reduce down to, let's say a few lines here. Okay, that looks all right. Now let's go change this fixed width to infinite so that it reaches end to end and the minimum width down to zero and this also the minimum height down to zero so that it grabs onto nothing but the content okay so now that we have our text in place let's take a quick look at the design now that we have done our text part that means the second part we have to bring in another group and assign it to a row layout because as it seems the content now is sitting side by side right so let's go back and bring in another group there you go and name it customer info and remove the default styling give it a flat background and let's say something like this good and go back to the layout here we're gonna go ahead and give it a top margin of 50 and change the layout to row remove the fixed width and the minimum width down to zero and for now we're going to maintain this 250 min width min height we'll come back and fix this later so now let's bring in our customer image there you go let's find a customer okay our image is here now Let's give it a roundness of 100. Go back to layout and I'm going to maintain the fixed width, but I'm going to reduce the size to 100 and maintain a fixed aspect ratio. There you go. And bring it to the center. That being done. Oh, also let's name it image. All right. Okay, so now let's bring in another group for our text. But this one is going to have content top to bottom, just like right here. So we're going to change this layout to column again and go back and name it. Let's name it. customer text and remove the style give it a flat color let's just say for now something like this okay pretty distinctive the reason behind this color so that we can differentiate among our several groups parent child etc we can all you know we can get rid of it all later on once uh, we're close to finishing okay so now this one we go back to layout remove the fixed the minimum should be down to zero 
and we're going to maintain 250 for now. Now let's bring in our text component. This one I'm going to go with H2 dark. And now immediately, actually, okay, that's fine. And uh, let's go and we're going to say it is customer one. Let's give it a left margin of 20 pixels and top margin of 10 pixels. That being done, okay, so let's make the width infinite and minimum width down to zero, removing the fixed width and same here, removing the minimum height so that it has nothing but the content to grab onto and once this is done let's highlight that and do a control C and control V that way we duplicated our text item and now let's go remove this style bring it down to 18 and bold it and say this is our product manager all right so now our text is set at this point we're going to go to the parent container go to the layout and make the minimum height to zero and center it let's do the same thing with this background i mean this uh, parent container customer info make this Type to zero and now let's go to this container which is our original card and reduce the size the height down to zero and at this point let's go preview all right so this is our card element right so let's give it a little roundness let's set it to 30 pixels Let's preview again. All right, so it's looking good, right? So now watch one thing. Okay, so now we have our card element. Let's highlight that and do a control C to copy it and duplicate it, control V and highlight this, control C and control V. Okay, so now watch what happens when we try to reduce the screen size see it's shrinking but it's not breaking remember I mentioned before like to break it needs a minimum width most cases we we do minimum width down to zero but in this case and also remember our bottom line width would be this 360 right so in a 360 window with this uh, extra margins and things we have to consider so let's go and give this guy change this main minimum width to 320 pixels pick out this guy change it back to 320 and pick out this guy R3 to 320 and this time let's preview okay now let's shrink it so as soon as it reaches 320 it breaks and then they keep going down and now they form the one column and go all the way down to a mobile size and we can test them with this 360 and it's looking great so now all we have to do just go ahead and take this highlight this make a copy of the formatting 
then highlight this block and paste and here carefully select this parent item customer text right click paste formatting and at this point we can just get rid of them and control c control v that control c control v that and preview we have our cards ready and now all we need is go ahead and change the content pick another user and we preview our testimonials are ready to go and they're all nice and responsive this concludes this video regarding adding responsive content using the flexbox layout in bubble if you like this video please smash the like button and please don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching thanks for watching if you like this video please smash the like button and the subscribe button this will help me bring more free contents like this to you every week thanks again